of saving a species from extinction. Ten years ago, we could have done a great job, and like my colleague has said, the, the host of the show, the name is Kimel. Kimel? I see trees of green that sacred night, and I think to myself. We're left with the two remaining females, as I say, both unable to get pregnant. So the only remaining option to recover this species is through uh, in vitro fertilization. In vitro fertilization is something which is commonly practiced in humans and cattle and various other species, but has never ever been done in rhinos before. This first step will actually help inform other interventions for us. In terms of the insemination, I have uh, one more comment. And the common knowledge is when you inseminate... Uh... First of all, we are very happy that uh, after this first procedure in Najin and Fatu, that they uh, that they are, they are recovered very smoothly and they are doing really well and fine today, just 24 hours after this first procedure and after this anesthesia. And uh, we were hoping to get uh, a few eggs from them and our expectation ha expectations have been exceeded by getting five oocytes from each and uh, we are really hoping and crossing fingers that we get uh, at least one, two, three, four, if not even more embryos out of this one collection. We will take just a short one. I hope we will be different, um, despite the... ...to see the problem from this process. And uh, as my... My colleague, he just seen me. It's nice to see you, huh? Yeah, he wants to be back. Sorry, because we are here, because of this particular species. Um, So when our beloved uh, gets messy, governor, 